I want to ask you a question that we're all going to have asked anyway, is why did we do this program and why are you telling people this information? Lynn, let me start with you. Hmm. If I can come out of Mormonism and come to Christ, anybody can do it. We were as dug in as anyone you could ever imagine, and I can't imagine that I would have changed my life, but the God of the Bible changed my life. When I began to read the Bible and see the conflicts with Mormonism and made the choice for Christ, He turned my life upside down and I became free in Christ, free in the truth, and the chains of all of the lies fell off. And I can't tell the story enough. I am really a changed person. I don't think that people would even recognize me who knew me five years ago, and that is nothing but God. And it happened because I believed His Word in the Bible. That Word changed me, and this change is so profound for me that I will tell what God can do till the day I die. Michael, you're a Mormon for 30 years, and you decide to leave, and you realize that you have been deceived. How hard was it to come out? It is hard because you have to stand in front of the mirror and look in the mirror and say, I've been wrong for 30 years. I taught my children incorrect principles for 30 years. But when God speaks to you, then you cannot deny His voice. When I started seeing that as, as, as a Mormon, I was earning my salvation through my righteousness, but as I studied the Bible, I realized that I can't earn anything, that grace is a gift, and when you start taking Jesus plus, you start running into a problem. The fact that I thought that I could earn my salvation and then Jesus would kick in the rest of it is still blasphemy. When Paul spoke in the, um, Galatians chapter 3, he talked about the law will bring us to Christ. And that's what happened to me. I realized I could not fulfill the law, that I was a sinner, that I was prideful, that uh, I, was, I was that man, uh, uh, the Pharisee, was spoken up in Luke, that I, I was a proud man and that I had to humble myself to be, really become before Jesus. And what I'm telling and asking Mormons to do is to look in the mirror and say, are you trying to earn your salvation? Are you trying to work your way there? Uh, all the things that you do in the temple, is it, is it really helping you understand the nature of Jesus? And you really need to look at those endowments, look at the procedure, understand what's in the Bible from a biblical standpoint to what you're doing and living your life. You're so busy working as Mormons you really do not really have time to develop that personal relationship with Jesus. Sandra, I can't even imagine the pressure that was on you mm -hmm. and what you were surrounded with and yet you came out. How in the world did you come out? Well, it, it all comes down to the grace of God. It's nothing I can boast of in myself or my own search. I mean, in a sense, I just see God reaching down and pulling me out of Mormonism. But um, Gerald and I uh, had been on a search to try to figure out what was true about Mormonism, and then along the way, we started realizing, well, not only is there a problem with Mormonism, there's a problem in our own hearts, that we don't know God in the way the New Testament's talking about. That we, uh, I had named the name of Christ, but I hadn't really surrendered to Him. And as I was listening to a Christian radio station one day, the minister came on preaching from 1 John chapter 4. And as he went through that chapter, uh, and one of the verses says, Here in his love, not that we love God, but that he loved us and gave his son as a propitiation for our sins. It was like God took the blinders off my eyes, and I realized I have no righteousness of my own. Uh, he doesn't love me because I'm such a great person. He loved me in spite of my sin. He saw me as someone that was a total failure when it comes to pleasing God. And yet God in His grace reached out and pulled me to Himself. Uh, I was not aware of verses like in Ephesians 2, 8, 9 that we're saved by grace, not according to works. In Mormonism, it's all about self. It's about me perfecting myself, doing the best I can. And if I do enough, I will be accepted by God. And then when you come to, to really see what the Bible's talking about, 
I'm a sinner saved by grace. I have nothing to bring to the table to say, oh God, look how great I am. I did X, Y, Z. I did all these things. Therefore, I should be okay. No, you come and you realize, oh my goodness, I, I have uh, blasphemed God in so many ways by thinking my effort would some way add to what Jesus did. And, and I threw myself on the mercy of Christ that I have nothing to offer here. Only Christ's righteousness is what I cling to, not something within myself. Yeah, and it's awfully relieving. It's awfully yes. freeing. And it also puts joy in your heart. Right.